This week on Mind Your Sex, we will be speaking to a wonderful couple. They might seem different to you, but this is their story. Hi everyone, I'm Kostas. Hello, I'm Kuhn. And we're from Belgium. And we're a couple. Well, how would we describe our relationship? Actually, we are a couple like any other with our ups and downs, don't you think? Yeah, I agree. One day I just feel like pulling out <laughs> all your hair and the next day I'm like, oh, let's just cut it. <laughs> Well, I remember when I was 15 years old, I had the first crush on a guy. And I must say that it was quite an awkward feeling because you know, I felt completely different from my, from my friends. And that was not a nice feeling, actually. Yeah, I, I think many people in our position will, mm -hmm. will relate to mm -hmm. this. Um, probably that's also the reason why, why many of us mm -hmm. just wait a very very long time yeah. with coming out to their friends and, mm. and families um, because because it's so uncommon and and you always expect an uh, a reaction that's not positive right yeah um, and I, I really think you first have to love yourself before you can out like do your coming out to your friends and family actually true mm -hmm. and everybody has to make up uh, for themselves when they're ready right yeah. you, you can't you can't force anyone mm -hmm. for example me i was 26 when when i came out mm -hmm. first time it was quite late i think you for you it was earlier yeah. yeah i was 18 years old when i came out to my parents but to my friends it was much later yeah mm -hmm. did you have really bad reactions well actually my friends were all positive because the strange thing is they all said, well, actually, we really, we, we felt it before, we, we knew it actually, that you were, well, well you, you loved guys, we, we saw it, we, we knew it. And my mother also, she said, well, actually, I knew it, but I waited for you to come to me. The typical reaction. Yeah, right? so it's yeah. quite strange. That's a very similar experience, mm -hmm. uh, even at a later age. Yeah. yeah. And, if I look back on my coming out, I always think, okay, why didn't I do this earlier? Because actually the, the, the reactions were so positive. Well, I don't know why I feared the coming out so much. It's quite strange. So the feeling before was really nervous and after it was a relief. So that is the, the, a big... There's a duality yeah. between it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. True. We're a couple for about six years now, yes. and um, yeah, actually I think we experienced this mm -hmm. in exactly the same way like any other couple. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's partly due to the fact that we live in Belgium. And, wow, and, yeah. which is one of the best countries for LGBTI people to live in, actually. But, because as we must say, even on the road, we actually don't walk hand in hand. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, experiencing public, yeah. the public with uh, yeah, be, being an LGBT couple yeah. is, is even in Belgium still a, a strange thing. If, yeah. if you walk hand in hand, it's, it always feels like you're being judged because people just look at you and sometimes they even make strange faces. Yeah. And then... But sometimes it's funny when they make strange faces because we actually laugh about it when, when we hold hands and, and people are looking. Well, in the in the beginning I was thinking, oh my god, let's don't hold hands, but in the end I actually think from it's your problem, not my problem. Please accept us for who we are because we don't do anything wrong to you. Yeah, that's true. So I that's a bit my opinion of course. Oh but that that's a fact, right? Mm -hmm. It's just the other people need to change their behavior that's true. towards us mm -hmm. and not the other way around because mm -hmm. we are just doing what normal couples would do on oh, public indeed, as well, indeed. right? Yeah. But actually another difference I feel is even in Belgium, uh, when a guy and a woman kisses and show love to each other, everybody's saying, Oh my god, they are a couple, this is so so lovely. But when 
to guys or even to girls kiss each other, they say, oh, but, but they should do this in their own home. We don't want to see it. And that is something that I don't think is right. And yeah, that's something I, I find quite strange actually. Yeah, it's true. And mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day, you feel like like you're obliged to experience your your life as a couple mm -hmm. strictly in in your private mm -hmm. yeah that's true private atmosphere at home mm -hmm. and and not in public anymore yeah that's true okay you have the law and the law should be to protect all people eh? so even protect lgbti people uh, or straight they should be experiencing the law in the same way but there is a difference between the law and how people see you because the law can change the, 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 the mind of the people, the, the opinion of the people and that is something you have, that's a long, that takes a long time to change the opinion of people because, and I do understand, so I, I, I don't take this as, as a problem, but sometimes it is difficult. True, mm -hmm. but that's also the reason why it's important to make it visible. Yeah, that's Probably. true, yeah, yeah, that's true. Like the gay pride in Antwerp is really to uh, experience this uh, kind of that all love is the same, even if you love a girl, you love a boy, you love both even. Uh, well, all love is the same and that is something I really think every country should celebrate actually.